Hi everyone, I'm Shaylin here with Readsy, and today we're going to be talking about how to have a successful book launch. A successful launch is a huge factor in your book's long-term success. Strong sales right out of the gate, so in your first week and first month, will get you on things like Amazon bestseller list, which gives your book a lot of reach long-term. You need to set yourself up for success, but a successful book launch starts long before the book's actual release date. In fact, even if you're years away from your debut novel, there are things that you can start doing to prepare for that book launch right now. So this video is going to be organized by time frame, so let's start with the long term. Things you can do when you're years away from your book's launch, maybe when you're still writing the book, or before you even have a set release date. The first thing is to start building a platform. No matter how early you are in your career, it's never really too early to start building a platform. It can take a really long time for your platform to start gaining traction, so you might as well get started now. You want to establish yourself on social media, specifically on Twitter and Instagram. You can also make a page on Facebook. Or you can also start gaining a following either through a blog or a YouTube channel, somewhere where you might be able to gain more of a following and gather interest in your work. Even if you're unagented or still writing your book, patience is a virtue when it comes to building a platform, so you might as well get started now. And the second thing you want to do is to start connecting with other writers. There's really no point building a platform if you don't use it to actually meet people and network. In many ways, the connections you make with other writers through your platform is more valuable than just the number of followers. You can find a critique partner or critique group, friends and support, but later down the line, the friends you make through your platform are the people that will help you promote your book. Cross-promotion using each other's audiences is super valuable, and those are connections that you can start building now. Now let's jump a little forward to T minus six months before the book's launch. Doesn't mean you necessarily have to do these things at exactly the six month mark. There are a lot of things at this stage in the game to start planning. So you might look at this, you know, around eight months before your book's launch, around four months before your book's launch. But around this time, about half a year before the book comes out, these are things you want to start looking at. Going a traditional publishing route, you want to start talking to your publisher about a marketing plan. In that case, some of this is going to be out of your hands, although there are also a lot of steps you can also implement. Around six months before the book's release is when you want to start building buzz. It might seem like the book launch is far away, but you want readers to be anticipating the book's release just as much as you are. You can start by sharing a small snippet of your cover and then doing a full cover reveal once you have the cover art, share early reviews as you get them, share fan art if you get any, or you could order some commissioned artwork of your characters. You can share little excerpts or snippets. You might also want to increase the frequency that you send out your newsletter, but now might be the time to start sending updates more frequently and more consistently. You also want to set up your author profiles on Goodreads and Amazon. And since Amazon is where the majority of book sales take place and Goodreads is a review hub, they can be really important factors in readers discovering your book. If I'm just looking at myself, probably 70% of what I read I discover through Goodreads, and you want people to start discovering your book through Goodreads as early as possible. Readers will be much less likely to shelf your book as to read on Goodreads or pre-order it on Amazon if it doesn't have a cover design up or, or if it doesn't have a summary. No one is going to decide to pre-order a book that doesn't have any details available. So set up your Amazon and Goodreads pages both for yourself as an author, with an author photo and a bio, as well as get your book set up so it has a description and the cover is up as soon as possible. You also want to start looking into a launch party. Start looking at Facebook for readings and book launches in your area. You'll probably notice that there are one or two bookstores that tend to host most of the launches. But look and see which independent bookstores tend to do launches for local authors and contact them. You can also coordinate with other authors who are launching around the same time to co-launch a book with them. This can help cross-promote your audiences, so ideally they would be writers who are writing work in a similar genre and category to you. It's also time to start thinking about ARCs, or advanced reader copies. These are copies of the book sent out to reviewers for free before the book's release in order to get reviews, and they are a really important promotional tool. Reviews are an important part of converting traffic to sales and boosting your visibility on the Amazon algorithm, so you want to think about sending out ARCs around four months before your book's release to give the readers ample time to read the book and leave a review. This might mean sending out physical copies of your book or setting up your book on something like NetGalley so readers can request an ARC. We've also got a reviewing and book discovery platform called Readsy Discovery, so if you're trying to get book reviews as well as exposure for your book's release, this is a really great, easy way to do it. The community has over 300 viewers and plenty of opportunity for your book to be discovered by readers, whether through the feed or newsletter. And when you get a review, it's really useful promotion across lots of other platforms. 
This is also the point where you might want to start thinking about and kind of doing the beginning planning of other promotional strategies, such as a blog tour. This is where, across the time frame of a couple weeks, your book is promoted across various blogs. The content is set beforehand and unique to each blog. And although you don't need to start reaching out to bloggers quite yet, that's something that you do around six weeks before the blog tour, you can start to do the preliminary planning for it now. Start researching blogs or start talking to your publicist about a blog tour if you're traditionally published. You might also want to start thinking about a straight team. The idea here is somewhat similar to a blog tour, but basically it's a small group of readers who will help you promote your book. You probably have around 20 readers and you might recruit them through friends and family or find them through social media. You'll probably want to provide each of them with an arc and give them promotional tools to post on their social platforms. You might also set up fun little challenges for each day, say posting a review one day, a mood board the next day, a cosplay of one of the characters the next day, post a photo of the book one day, fun stuff like that. Like with the blog tour, you don't need to set this up six months in advance, but you can start to plan for it now so you're not too rushed later on. Street teams usually become quite active the week leading up to the book's release, so you can put a sign up form up a few weeks before the book comes out. And finally, you might also want to start thinking about a book trailer. If you are interested in making a book trailer yourself. We've got an entire video on that, so I will leave a link to that in the cards and in the description. But if you are planning on making a book trailer yourself, give yourself plenty of time for this. These kinds of projects almost always take longer than we anticipate. Video production, especially of this nature, isn't something you want to rush. It doesn't hurt to get this done early, so you might as well do it now because later on you're going to have even more to deal with. Now it's T minus one month until your book's release. This is where things are really going to ramp up. So here are the things you want to be doing at this point. Around the one month mark, you can start really actively promoting your launch party on social media, make a Facebook event, and start to gather up buzz. You might also ask the bookstore if they'd be willing to put up a poster for you or something like that. This is also a great time to set up a giveaway. You can do a giveaway through Goodreads or set up a pre-sale giveaway to encourage people to pre-order your book. So then anyone who pre-orders the book is entered in the giveaway. You want to encourage people to pre-order your book since that will contribute to your week one sales. So a giveaway is a great way to get those pre-orders in. This is also the point where you want to start sharing your book trailer, find street team members, and get the ball rolling on a blog tour if you've decided to do any of those things. And as always, continue to generate buzz on your social media. If you haven't done one yet, do a cover reveal, continue to post excerpts, continue to post artwork if you have any. You can also do mailing list cross promotion with other authors. At this point, your mailing list probably knows that you have a book coming out, but do other people's mailing lists know that you have a book coming out? So if you have author friends, see if you can cross promote with them so they'll mention their book in your mailing list. And even if they don't have a book coming out right now, you can return the favor for them later on. In the month leading up to your book's release, try to do one marketing effort to promote your book every single day. So every single day you're just doing something to get readers and get pre-orders and get the word out about your book. If you want more ideas on things that you can do to promote your book, we've got a playlist on marketing ideas with a ton of different things that you can implement as well as a blog post, so I will leave both of those things in the description. With about two weeks to go, you can also post the first chapter on your website to gather more interest. So that's how to have a successful book launch. Thank you so much for watching, and remember if you want even more marketing ideas, I'll leave a bunch of resources for you linked in the description. Thank you so much for watching, remember to turn on notifications so you don't miss anything new from us. We've got new writing, editing, and publishing videos coming at you every Tuesday and Friday. Until next time.